This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Airway suctioning. The purpose of suctioning is to remove any liquids or secretions from the upper airway. Suctioning may be necessary to maintain an open airway if a person cannot clear secretions without help. Gather your supplies, a hard or soft suction catheter and a suction device with a canister. Ask for help. Use personal protective equipment, wear gloves and eye protection, and if needed, a gown and mask. Check to see if your suction canister or handheld device is working. Attach a rigid or soft suction catheter to the end of the suction tubing. Explain to the patient what you are doing. Insert the suction catheter into the back of the mouth, only as far as you can see. Cover the side hole on the catheter, not the tip of the catheter to create suction. Suction only while pulling the catheter out and release suction when advancing the catheter forward. Advancing the catheter further into the mouth while suctioning can cause injury. Repeat to suction all of the fluid in the back of the mouth. Do not suction for more than 10 seconds at a time unless the airway is completely blocked with fluid. To avoid trauma to the mouth, do not place the end of the suction tip directly against the soft tissue or hold it in just one place. Suction only in the oral cavity. Do not suction up the nose.